Welcome to Mindless Entertainment. It is I, God Empress Jesse Milestone, here to talk to you a little bit about my fantastic weekend at the New Eagle County Comic Con and to address what's on my face because I don't know. Any doctors out there want to tell me? I don't know if you can tell. You can see it on my chest too. I'm like speckled. It's just, it's just, it's gross. Sorry. I didn't want to, uh, normally I would put on delightful makeup to make myself look better, but since I don't know what this is, I was worried about makeup being an irritant. My three best guesses right now are, um, Allergic reaction to something in the sheets. Uh, I'm losing faith in that theory because then my face wouldn't have it because the face the sheet. I don't know. Um, also, it wouldn't have continued to spread to my face after being away from the sheets. Uh, a dermatitis stress reaction. It's uh, I've had those before in other in more localized, but this is kind of huge. Or um, a, a rash related to strep throat, which usually accompanies scarlet fever, in which case that's terrifying, but I should be fine because I'm on antibiotics. So that's the what's on my face part of this. Now onto the important part, the New Eagle County Comic Con. Um, I didn't really know what to expect. I've never I've never been a guest at a con before. I've never been to a small, uh, small town con either. And um, honestly, it absolutely blew me away. Uh, shout out, huge shout out to Lowell Godfrey, the man who organized this, who poured his money, his heart, and his soul into making this con a success. I mean, this was held in a, in a rec center um, in a in the small town of Fremont, Michigan. But you walked into this, and the only thing that set it apart from a from a massive con was just size. Uh, everything else, I mean, the vendors were were incredible. The guests were fascinating. Um, there were authors, comic book artists, uh, writers. Me, <laughs> uh, my friend Walt, the one who invited me up here, who was who played the dog man in the feature film, which is based on a Michigan legend, um, and it was so cool because he sold tons of DVDs, tons of you, everyone in Michigan, you know, had heard of the dog man legend. A lot of them knew about the movie or had seen the movie, so it was really really cool. Um, just at, was I was next to a bard from a Renaissance fair, uh, Robin the Bard, uh, aka Doug Peterson, um, who was super super cool. Uh, Terrell, the author of the Illuminous Firefly, which is a, a an autobiographical comic book, he's he's writing was just just such a, a fascinating. Uh, I'll show. I have an interview with him. I'll, I'll I'll put it up for you guys. Just really talented, fast. I mean, cos there were four professional cosplay groups there. I'm like professional. There was the um. The Mandalorian mercs, uh, just uh, hardcore Mandalorian cosplayers, totally badass. You had G.I. Joe, you had a, a total, like a super realistic Superman running around. Just There was a kid, too. There was a kid who was a zombie uh, with prosthetics, uh, like full prosthetics and, and fully in character. Like he walked with a limp and everything. I mean, it was it was super legit. It was really, really cool. Amazing, fascinating, and and so well run, like seamlessly, beautifully run. Uh, shout out to the security slash load and loadout crew, head of security Cole, uh, Brian, and Matt and Cam, uh, and then uh, Cat who was there helping loading, and and Jay, of course, Jake and and his sister Liz, and all those wonderful people who not only helped make the day a massive success, but I got to know much better. Um, through that evening and the next day, hanging out with them at the the definitely haunted Gerber guest house, um, having fun exploring the creepy rooms and sing, sharing songs, etc. Doug uh, Peterson, the uh, Robin the Bard, was with us as well with his guitar, and it was just it was an absolute blast, start to finish. I felt so welcomed by the people there. Um, I had I had two fans actually drive from a, from significant distances in Michigan to come see me. So uh, am I misguided? And Steve Wilson, you guys are awesome. Stephen Wilson, thank you so much for making the trip. Stephen, thanks for hanging out all day. Thanks for taping the uh, the lightsaber uh, demo that I did. I gotta get those. I have those videos from him. I gotta put those up for you guys. Uh, he, if you go to his channel, you can find him in my comments. Usually Stephen Wilson, um, and uh, and and check out his channel where he has. Uh, the lightsaber demo up there. I posted, I stre streamed the panel live in spite of a few uh, connect connectivity issues. It was really, really fun to do. Some of you guys got to see that. If not, it's live, it's still up on the channel, so by all means, check it out. I was just really, really cool. I mean, I'm hoping this is the first of many, uh, and it really got me stoked to want to come back next year. Uh, I, I mean, all these people are, I have new friends now. I have exciting new friends that I can't wait to see again. Um, some incredible talents. There was a 14-year-old boy who entered the art contest who, who, drew, who carved out of a stump with a chainsaw a three-foot Groot. P baby Groot. Perfect detail. Super awesome realistic. Uh, that's a picture. That is on my Instagram. I'll put some of these pictures on Patreon as well. So if you're not one of my patrons and you want to see some of the incredible stuff that I got to see at this con, by all means, uh, join up even for just a dollar a month. And that way you can see my exclusive content. It's very fun. Um, 
yeah, no, just a phenomenal con. Um, just absolutely incredible, incredible people. Uh, I'm in love with the little town of Fremont, Michigan, and the Blind Squirrel Tavern, where I spent several, several hours between the after party the night of and then watching the game and then hanging out with my new friends the day after. Um, it was just a phenomenal experience forward and back. Um, so please check out the channel because I, 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 was, I had the privilege of interviewing um, a handful of people uh, from the con, and I'm posting those interviews uh, on this channel. So please check all those out. And um, yeah, and... All the love to Lowell Godfrey and the New Mexico County Comic Con. Thank you to all of them for having me, and I really sincerely hope to be back next year. Um, yeah, if you like my channel, if you're interested in what I do and you want to find out in my next con appearance or appearance in the world, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, click the notifications bell so you get all of this stuff. Uh, if you want to see me, if you want to see me come to a comic con near you, you can help by making me important. You make me important by sharing my videos. Uh, the more important I am, the more time I get to devote to you guys, who are the most important people to me. So that's that. And uh, welcome to my, what, like, third <laughs> hotel room of the, of, of the past few weeks. Um, good times. Good times. Anyway, uh, I'll be giving, doing a full retrospective on Michigan in general uh, when I get back. But for now, man, enjoy the, enjoy the interviews. Uh, and thanks for, for being a part of my channel and allowing me to get to do things like go be a guest at a con. It was absolutely phenomenal. Good night. <laughs>